Okay, Anthony. We'll see if this is the guy I think he is. Be cool. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get out of this. You shot at my people. You know this guy? Gilchrist. Got it right? Anthony Gilchrist. Still alive. Yeah. Not hogtied for a change. It is him. I have a good that's memory cool. for names. But that's nowhere near enough when Militech personnel get shot up. Yeah, well, listen. They drew and fired first. A fact of no consequence to Militech management. But if you'd worked with Stout, I'd be dead by now. Might not have intended it. Hey! But you saved my life. And we're both now lucky. I'm saving yours. Makes us even. That is super cool. All right, well, uh, much appreciated. Gotta admit, didn't expect to see you here. You were followed, but I'm sure you know that. Stout's people were on your tail, my people were on theirs. In the end, she lost her nerve. Thought she hopped in bed with Maelstrom behind her back. Hit the big red button prematurely. Classic. When you don't know what to do, why not order an all-out assault <laughs> on a food factory? <laughs> mm-hmm. About sums it up. I made sure it blew up in her face. Business with Maelstrom hardly ever ends well, does it? Starting to learn that. Yeah. Uh, what happened to Stout? I have to imagine that we can probably, as much as we don't want to work with corporations, uh, it's going to be unavoidable. And if we have somebody like him, we're kind of like doing these favors for each other. We might be able to use that long term. What happened to Stout? She placed some bad bets. Her clock ran out. Simple as that. Suffice to say, you won't be seeing her again. Hmm. What do you want exactly? And you? Why are you here? Well, I still don't know who the mole is. Okay. I was hoping the Maelstromers would shed some light on it. By the way, where's Royce? Need a word with him too. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, have fun. He's the one in the giant mech suit. Yo, Jackie, we, uh, Holy shit, we v. barely pulled that off. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. Yeah, right? Make a good pair. We make a good team, Jack. I think you might be right. In any case, I don't regret switching my life up the way I did. Now well, that'd be the sweet taste of success, my friend. Hey, call up Dex, let him know we got his toy. Meeting to celebrate at the afterlife. Ahí luego, V. Very cool. Uh, yeah, we could call Dex, I suppose. How things looking, Mr. V? Got the flathead for you. Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into <laughs> any trouble? And what about the military? Hey? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits if you and Brick had shaken on him. How'd you get him on board? You used the corporal woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch from Maelstrom. I warned Royce. We made a deal. You got some balls, Mr. B. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Mm -hmm. That meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. Got it. Man, okay. Think about what went down. Oh, he's... <laughs> Think about what went down there. That was insane. That was insane. The heist. Okay, let's let's check our journal here real quick. So we can go to Lizzie's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Uh, to meet Evelyn Parker. I'm hoping that we can just put that on hold for a second while we try and take care of some of this other stuff. This one doesn't seem like there's anything I can do. Uh, we're just waiting for lockdown to end. Uh, this is the fighting brawling one, but that's going to be very difficult to do. Uh, oh, I guess. Okay. So this is like the long-term thing and uh, beat on the brat. Don't overthink this one. You have to defeat the champion of Kabuki. You know, the stakes. Yeah, we'll see. Pay off your debt to Victor. We need a lot of cash. And so I'm thinking instead of dismantling stuff, we'll probably just sell a bunch. Find and incapacitate cyber psychos, which we'll get to at some point. We've got gigs down here. Um, Woman of La Mancha. So, gun for hire. 
force Anna Hamill to drop her police investigation. Anna Hamill's a blue-blooded cop through and through, the kind you'd expect to see in some NCPD promo. Beautiful, smart, honest to a fault. In other words, a really bad fit for Night City. Her NCPD colleagues are another story. They all have uh, back problems from sitting on fat wallets. This current case Hamill's working has them all breaking out in hives. She's digging into the smuggling racket in Kabuki Market, which if she makes any real headway, means bad biz for her cop buddy's finances. They want someone from outside the precinct to nip this thing in the bud. Normally that's where I'd leave it, but I want to add one more thing. I feel kind of bad for the girl. Rather she not flatline if you can avoid it. Convince her to skip town or drop the case and make a career change at least. I don't recall where we got this from. It's been pretty hectic, um, but this seems like a decent option to be doing. Uh, also, let's see, there was a drop here we saw on the way in. Is this a drop? Yeah, cool. So, uh, oh man, we should probably, let's sell our junk. 75 bucks, it's better than nothing. Then let's take a look at some of this inventory. So this is the weapon we got from the guy before. I wish I could sort this not just range weapons, but, you know, pistols, assault rifles, whatever. Can we do something here. Type. Hey, there we go. All right. So I wouldn't mind kind of having one of each. This is, I think, what we got from Dex to Sean. But there's no reason for us to use it if it's not as good. We got that when we left his vehicle. And then we've got the Power Assault Rifle. Let's look at some of these other ones here. 81. We can sort this by DPS even. 81 DPS. We have the Power Submachine Guns. Thermal Damage. This does Chemical, Electrical Damage. Okay, so when we were shooting with... Uh, with this copperhead that we have. We were actually doing electrical damage, which is great, but that's something we're gonna have to keep in mind. These different uh, damage types. So I think what I'll do though, this is a pretty considerable increase. This is chemical damage. We'll keep that. We'll keep the katana. Uh, let's make sure that we're wearing the pants that we wanna be wearing. Uh, can we just sort this by... Well, I don't know how DPS is gonna work in here. Maybe a quality. I guess it's all the same. Militech Neo Pants. I think I can make those work. We can sell the rest. Uh, jackets wise, V's vest without the backers patch. Thermoset military field jacket is pretty big. Let's go ahead and take that. It's a significant improvement. And then for shirts. How much is this one? 9.9 .9 armor. So these are all kind of the same. This one increases evasion by 0.2. It's very minor. I think we could just sell the rest of those. And then here, weathered combat boots, probably the way to go, hey? It's like full, full military right now. Uh, what kind of cyberware stuff do we pick up? Target analysis. All your weapons are non-lethal headshots. Uh, do not deal additional damage. Smart weapons primarily target limbs. Smart link cyberware required to enable smart targeting. All right. We heard about that a couple of times. We'll just hold on to that. We have mods in here. Short circuit. It's non-lethal. 226 damage per second. Yeah, this seems like... That seems like it would be helpful in that scenario. Versus... Like, this ping is nice. But... In a fight, we definitely want to have some of these damage types. And this would have been huge dealing with those uh, those bigger guys, right? So maybe let's swap these. Put in that short circuit. This one's lethal. Deals moderate damage that scales higher based on how much health the target is missing. Less effective against drones, mechs, and robots. Yeah, this would have been so cool to have in there. Oh well. That, I think for a first fight, I'm pretty okay with that, actually. And these perk points, they seem to be coming in just, like, super, super fast, which I'm loving. Uh, what do we want to take here, though, is the question. 
I guess we keep going into intelligence. Unlock the turret shutdown demon, which disables security turrets in the network for three minutes. Um, even this, like math vulnerability would have been nice. All enemies in the network have physical resistance dropped. I'm just thinking through that fight, what we could have done differently with if we had different upgrades. Let's grab this one. So three minutes versus six minutes. I think that's fine. Quick hacks. We definitely need to grab something from here. Quick hack duration. Uh, reduce the required cyber deck RAM for quick hack used on devices by one unit. Eliminated target affected by a quick hack instantly recovers one RAM unit. Yeah, okay. Allows RAM to recover during combat. Eight RAM every 60 seconds. So it's super fast. Versus a reduction in the, in the uh, required RAM for devices. Um, okay, so let's do this. Currently, like, we don't have the RAM slots to really justify this. It's just, this would regen so much faster. And then let's go into, I'm going to actually take maybe just a point in body here. Just a tank a little bit. Maybe we'll do a reflexes one next. And then we can actually do our, uh, our sales here. Okay, so everything else. We're going to sell 1285. And this will be a way that we can start to earn some cash and maybe pay back uh, Victor. And get rid of all of our junk here. We should save the wolf school stuff. I think. Get rid of that. And can we sort this by quality or by, let's actually sort by price. Okay, we'll keep that suit. We'll keep the wolf jacket. And I think we're good with everything else. Uh, also in combat, maybe s drinking some of these things next time would be good. These are some things we picked up. Yes, so the cyber mod there. Thermal damage on this blade. Mantis blades deal thermal damage. And devastating berserk when berserk is active increases crit chance. Okay, I think we've kind of filtered through all the stuff that we just got access to. And now we're going to get out of here, hopefully. Let's go back to, I think, this one. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping there's another, like, does this reroute us at all? Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, so this gig, I, I don't know where it came up, but it might have just kind of happened in passing. But either way, we can at least read about it and then let's figure out how we're going to handle this. At some point, too, maybe we'll do some episodes where we just go around and do, like, the cop shooting, uh, exploring the city, do some longer episodes for that kind of stuff. And by cop shooting, I mean... <laughs> I don't mean actual cop shooting. I mean doing the cop jobs, which usually involves shooting. All right. 
So this Anna Hamill, apparently she's I'm trying to get her to drop her police investigation. She's working for the NCPD, but some of these guys are like not super stoked that she's investigating. Uh, we can deal with her however we want, but convince her to skip town or drop the case and make a career change. When's the next delivery? Two days. Hmm. Oh, short circuit is 11 RAM? Oh, that's, that's why I shouldn't be using those. Uh, let's see. Oh, four RAM cost. Huh. I wonder if that has to do with, like, some type of innate defense that these guys have. Mm. Come on, Ask I don't need this. Around the market for Just Anna Hamill. Tossing an anti whiff tablet for the smell. Fifteen percent off. These guys are green. And they call nomads thieves. Fine. Fine. You got the deal. Hmm. Hello? Oh, cool. Okay. Hauling goods through all of NC can't be the safest of jobs. You ever run into any trouble? If you're trying to sell me protection, take it the fuck elsewhere. Already got Takeshi. Bizarre's his. Sue me for being curious. Sure. Whatever. So, because we're a fellow... I, I'm pretty sure this is the same guy. He was talking about being a nomad. Those your threads... Or did you borrow them? Who the hell's asking? I'm a backer. Oh, now we identify well, well, with them. Two nomads crossing paths in Night City. <laughs> How can I help? Cool. Uh, what brought you here? What brought you to NC? What brings anyone? Stable Eddie Flo, adventure, uh, living the dream, as you can see. Better off asking what I can do you for. We're looking for... Whoa! That's... Whoops. We're looking for this lady. Looking for this lady. No her. The badge? Sure do. Oh, cool. She's got a room in this here motel. Right over there. Perfect. Thanks. Don't mention it. Oh, cool. Okay, so when we get to these areas, it's the green dots that we kind of want to look for for more information. Seems like we have a direct path there already, which is nice. What do you got here? Llegaste hace poco? Uh, yeah, cool. Five big employers, or big five employers in Night City. It's that time of year again we present our list of the biggest and best corps to work for in Night City. Who offers paid vacation? Who pays for employees' trauma team insurance policies? Who provides discounts for daycare and child bodyguard services? Have a look at our rankings below. Arasaka, number one. Okay, this will actually be good. We've heard of Arasaka Militech Biotechnica. Uh, Kang Tao and Night Corp, we have not heard of, so... Arasaka coming again this year is our number one spot, the Japanese Saibatsu Juggernaut. Employees can expect to be fit with the latest in cyber technology with a loyalty obligation of only 20 years. Militech, the American arms giant, provides its employees with up to 50% discounts on all Militech weapons. Deal uh, With a deal that good, you'll be able to put a Mark 31 heavy machine gun under the Christmas tree for everyone in the family. Biotechnica, our 2077 bronze medal goes to Biotechnica, who offers up the six, yes, six paid vacation days a year. Wow. Kang Tao, China's largest tech and arms manufacturer, treats its employees to a gold membership with Trauma Team. Never spend a single minute of your 50-year loyalty pledge. Wow. Without uh, worrying about paying for health coverage. Oh, 50 years. That's not so bad. Night Corp, while this hometown product can't compete with the biggest international players in terms of budget or ambition, they certainly know how to spoil their staff. Night Corp snuck into our big five after a recent announcement to reduce the mandatory work week to just 80 hours. 
they're a must apply for all you family focused folks out there all right now i want to see if we can talk to this lady she didn't seem to want to chat before i don't know if she's i don't know what her deal is she might be broken which is possible do we see them on the map too we don't there's a ripper dock in the back Yo, what do you got going on here? Never seen a Ripper Dock so big. You're half man, half mega block. Not often I see a Ripper invest in a Gannic body like that. Most people don't realize the brain functions better when it's tied to real, not synthetic musculature. Replace I that. even a single hand, and you'll notice a dip in concentration and overall well being. Cyberware is more harm than help. Not great marketing for a Ripper Dock. Nope. But I don't slow biz from Cromers like you. Come on, man. Looking for a change. Come on, then. Time to tinker. Okay, so for him, he doesn't like sit us in a chair or anything. Uh, RAM upgrades. Cyber deck RAM recovery rates. What I really want is to get into more RAM in general. Let's just see what he sells so we have an idea. Increase breach time of breach protocol by 100%. Yeah, that seems solid for sure. Although expensive right now. Shock and wave take damage. 2% chance of releasing a large electroshock. Nervous system. Evasion stuff. Heat converters. So dealing with stuff like burn, shock, bleeding. Just going... Oh, increasing armor by 200 14,000? Wow. So we need to figure out a way that's going to make us big bucks. I'm interested to see how much this gig is going to pay. Carrying capacity by 20. We're okay right now. Arms. We got those mono wires, mantis blades. Another thing I'm curious about is to know whether or not these are the same prices. Reinforced tendons was 45,000 with Victor. So it's going to be a ways off though. Okay. Well, let's see if we can't confront this woman. Uh, let's execute this. Easy peasy. Delighted to welcome you as our newest guest. Your room number is 203. Wish you a pleasant stay. Oh. Okay. I'll take that. 203. Guy, you're just going to leave these euro dollars sitting here? Like... Okay, so this is 303. Use technical ability. We can just open it. Okay, I want to check our room. Seemingly right underneath. Uh, let's actually check. I just want to check our messages here. Was there somebody... Oh, Regina Jones. Okay, so there was something that came up. Uh, and it was just like we were busy doing something else. So this is where this came from. Regina Jones and Dexter Deshaun, Flathead Price. Mr. V, I want to remind you again that Eddie's have already been exchanged hands between me and the esteemed Maelstrom partners in Biz. Around some 10,000 Eddie's to be precise. So when you're there to take it off their hands, don't let them try to shake you down. But we already did anyways. Okay, awesome. At least we know where this came from. 
work in Watson just so happens I'm one of its main employers. Okay, cool. 203. So I guess maybe it's just assigned a room because we... Because we got into... Come on, let me grab this, man. Awkward, but... There we go. I assume that it's because we got into the hotel and they're just like, well, you need to have a room? Let's do this. Okay, sequence required to upload. Extracts a small amount of Euro dollars. And notice, okay, so this one ends with BD, so that'll sync over to this one. So we want to be able to go once we do this top line, then this one, then the 55 leads to the 55. So if I go 1C to BD to 50... Wait, 1C to BD to 1C to 55 to BD to 1C. Yeah, cool. Oh. Okay, so learning something else now. I understand. So the way we would actually want to do this is go from the bottom one to this one and link it that way. Okay. Okay. Starting to get it. Starting to get it. Coffee stuff. Tons of healing around, which, thank God. Oh, look at this. We might have a way into her room from there. She was above us, right? Studded dildo. <laughs> you know, okay. For her pleasure. Or his. Okay, what do we have here? Security monitor. We can just use this to distract enemies. Let's see if my theory is correct here. Huh. Wow. I don't see anyone in here. It is open though. Oh, she is here. Anna Hamill, patrol officer. Well, surprise. Stop! Not one more fucking step! Whoa, chill. Who put out the hit? Give me a name! Yo, uh... Uh... Oh, God. Anna, drop this investigation. It's in your best interest. That a threat? I'd remind you, you're the one in the fucking crosshairs. Yeah, no, I, I'm trying to help you, honestly. Hey, easy. I just want to help. Help? Phonic implant must be fried. I think you men intimidate. Just to end your investigation. Really pissed off the wrong people. Which people? Tell me what fucking people! Yeah, your buddies at the NCPD. Your buddies at the NCPD set you up. Fucking. I fucking knew it's it. for her own protection. Robert Kowalski and Bill Adams. Motherfuckers. Let it go. It's not worth it. Yeah. Know what? I'm not letting scumbags get me killed. Fuck them. Fuck this job. Yeah. Fuck this city. Exactly. Good call. So, Anna, what's next for you? What? We choose all of a sudden? The hell do you care? I dropped the case like you wanted. You can fuck off, Murph. <laughs> I'm just making small talk so you don't accidentally shoot me right in the face, actually. Got nothing to say to you, June. All right, I'm going to leave then. 
That's a good chat. So a couple of ways in there. Probably a few different ways of, uh, of dealing with that as well. I appreciate that they gave me a room. That was neat. I don't know if that was just part of the deal when we try and like bypass a door for a hotel or something. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't know if I have to call the person who gave it to us. Oh, there we go. Regina! V of the silver tongue, eh? You yeah, you got, got it. All worked out. Contract closed. Okay, oh, there's some big money. And some street cred. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. So these are going to be really important for us. Very, very important. What else do we have going on right now? Pay off your debt to Victor. I can't. Uh, we could go to this fight in Kabuki if we wanted to. I don't think there's anything to do with this one. And then these are all done. How close is Kabuki? It's actually not that far. But the other thing we can do is we can look around and just kind of see what types of things are out here. There's an assault over here. <laughs> like, my God, dudes. Uh, our vehicle back there. Can I track this somehow? Jump to V. Let's see how these go. Neutralize the perps and secure evidence. This looks like it's in this spot, but... Okay, sure. How about a quickie? I suppose it... Oh, it's probably up here. Adept. Slander against a corporate rep. Second degree murder. Short circuit. Okay, how can we get up there? See... Oh, here we go. Beautiful. Fuck off or die, your choice. Okay, let's do, uh, where can I find an E9? We can do this. I don't know if this is going to help us. I don't think so. How are they back? We're doing this for money. Whoa. Look how quickly they closed the gap. Scanner helps to defeat all enemies, collect the loot, or collect the loot unnoticed. Oh, okay, well. Thanks, I didn't know that was an option. It's getting hammered on. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Starting to get into it now. What the? 
Whoa. Nice. Okay, so now that we know that that's an option... Oh, here we go. Let's actually equip this one. Seven hundred and fifty, you see that? Archive conversation Takeshi and Jataro. What is this? Boss, we tracked down that ripper. He took out Keiko's tracker, said he didn't know she was one of ours. I didn't give a flying turd fuck. Where is she? <laughs> we'll find her. Ripper says she was here with some choom. Jake, not the black guy with the mouth chrome, that one. Uh that fucking lover boy? Yeah, the same. You have to get them. Her and that gonk fuck. And do it so everyone sees. So everyone sees what it's like when a bitch like her tries to skip on Jotaro. What about the Ripper? Teach him a lesson? No, pay him. And any other whore comes to him, tell him to ping us first. Sure, boss. Nice. Okay, so what do you have? Uh, clothing mod increases armor by a pretty significant amount. 870 eddies for this, too. Reduces stamina consumption when blocking melee attacks. And another conversation between Keiko and Jake, so we can kind of see both sides of it. Okay, let's try. I'm ready to leave. Really? Mean it? I have nothing to lose. Yeah, you can't live that way anymore. When? Today. You get out today. No sense hesitating. Every day we wait, another we risk getting found out. Okay, we'll go to my Ripper. Chum of mine. He'll rip out that locator in you, but whatever you do, don't mention Jotaro or he won't help. I'll say you're my sis. Okay, then what? We stay at my place for the night, then I help get you out of the city. I'm scared. I'm scared, Jake. There's no place for you. Don't be afraid. This is the right thing to do. Enemies have been alerted. Oh, excellent. Let's get out of here. Come out! Let's solve this like warriors! Where's my car? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's cool. It even honks at us. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Oh, now see, there's like these little question marks on the map too. Why don't we just go and check this out? Oh, Regina, hi. V, got a rat problem on my block. Who doesn't, right? Thing is, these rats are human-sized. Look just like tiger claws, too. Biggest one is a certain Taki Kinmochi. So do your fixer a solid and neutralize her ass, will you? Deeds attached. Gun for hire. Gig type gun for hire. Now we have this other one called troublesome neighbors and i think that's only popping up because we're investigating this little uh question mark let's be cool you can jack in See, I think this is showing the, um, this is that perk that's showing all the stuff on its own. Like the access nodes. I'm just going to take a look at this. Vulnerabilities, malfunction. Breach protocol, ping, distract enemies. Now, is this person beside us? Did he see this and he doesn't like this? So now what we want to do is we want to go... Hmm. We only have a buffer of four. So we can't get both of these the way I see it. 
one, two, three, four, five. So we have to go uh, this one and then this one to get the most possible. So we want to go one C. Oh, interesting. Maybe I can't even because I'd have to go one C here, but then I can't get the BD from this. I would have to do 1C, 1C, BD, 1C. So maybe if we can get this, these two together, maybe that's the way to go. So I could do 1C, 5, 5, and then we have 5, 5, 1C. Maybe that's the best plan. But also, Datamine V3, I think we get higher quality uh, components. Not just necessarily amounts. Let's just see what it says at the beginning. Extract a large amount of Euro dollars. Moderate amount. Okay, so it's it's just amounts, as far as I can tell. But I don't know what would be better. The two medium and small or a large? Let's do medium and small. So 1C, 5-5. Sorry, 1C, 5, 5. And we got to go double 5, 5. So 1C, 5, 5, 5, 5. Yeah, okay. 1C, 5, 5, 5, 5, 1C. I'm going to see if I can... Reset this combat. Oh boy. The music in combat is very much like uh, Doom. I'm going to see if we can just lose them here. Because I think we've done it. God, this can be kind of hectic, eh? Like, whoa. Okay. Um, let's look at this for a second. So I got a place at this block in Kabuki. Not many know about it. Welcome. Oh, this is the gun for hire. Okay, so we actually don't get any details on this. Oh, oh no, maybe this is the same one. So maybe when we're close, she comes in saying, this is the gig. Hold on. Let's read this thing from Regina. Yeah, see, gig type gun for hire, target Taki Ken Mochi. Got a place in this block in Kabuki. Not many know about it. Welcome to the club. And I prefer to keep it that way. Problem is a certain tiger cunt and friends set up a pachinko operation right on my fucking doorstep. Could mean trouble for me down the road. Let me guess. You're thinking it's better than hiding in plain sight? Yeah, fuck that. When, not if the NCPD cracks down on these pachinko machines, I know they're going to poke their ugly or their ugly pig noses around in my backyard. Can't risk them seeing something they shouldn't. We can't sit on this. Head to the residential block where a tiger by the name of Taki Ken Mochi is running this pachinko show. Deal with her. Any other tigers in the area will get the message and peace out quick. So we need to find her. Presumably. But what I'm wondering is, is that the same as this? Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, I think we're okay. Sorry about the confusion. So if we can, let's try and find her and just take her out.
Might have a problem up there. Asshole. Foodie Guide to Night City. Don't mind if I do. World Traveler in Night City is faced with a dilemma. Enjoy the local cuisine or save their gut the trouble. If you don't own a trauma team policy, you're probably better off sticking to the tried and tested chains and exclusive restaurants. But if you do, Night City is full of risk that packs a lot of reward. Here's our risk reward breakdown of the Night City's good eats. For the cautious consumer, Blue, a gourmet dining experience with some of the highest accolades and richest portfolios in the city. If you're after high quality locally sourced ingredients, Blue is the place for you. Among its marquee dishes are authentic caviar, oysters, and imported Prosecco. The alabaster white interior adorned with minimalist decor is perfect for a relaxing night out following a day of hustle and bustle. Pepper and Spice, unique locale on the culinary map of Night City. This eatery was founded by renowned travel icon Tony Halik. Stands apart from the competition thanks to its diverse menu of transcontinental fusion dishes, most of which are offered at surprisingly reasonable prices. Caribbean, Polish, Kenyan, it's all here. Just not in the combination you've ever seen before. The crowd favorite, Halik's own vanilla dumplings. Weird. For the gutsy gourmand, Buck a Slice, according to Urban Legend, the NCPD has an entire file on the mysterious deaths of homeless people whose last meal was pizza from Buck a Slice. True or not, bargain seekers living on a Euro dollar a lunch budget should still be prepared for gastrointestinal distress. Worth the risk? Only if you want a greasy slice of authentic Night City flavor, plus their secret recipe, Chili Spurt. Scoparoni is unlike anything you've ever tasted, but only available on special request. And then lastly, Rulai. At Rulai, you'll find all the three Ps. Potent, punchy, and pungent, my favorite. Every visit to this local favorite is like playing a game of Chinese roulette. Regulars at Rulai claim you're just as likely to get bearable egg rolls and halfway decent rangoons as you are tainted tofu or Szechuan salmonella. You've been warned. Warned. Okay, well, we know what to, um, where to not eat. Okay, so we should be jacking into these things, I guess. Okay, so can we connect any of these? We only got four slots. I can connect this one to the first one. E9. Hmm. I could go E9, E9, BD, BD. Because I can't connect an E9 to a BD here. E9, BD, BD. Yeah, I mean, that's super worth it to be hacking these whenever we see them. Here we go. Yeah, you better check that out. There we go, baby. Now we're talking. Inside. It could be worse. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. So what is this, a cleaning machine? Is that going to draw both of these guys? Because you can see another one over there. I might actually try and go and take him out first. If I can get access. Let's do it. Oh, okay, now we're flowing. Now it's happening. Hmm? 
Come on. Oh. Over here. Yeah, now we are talking. Uh, let's do a breach protocol here real quick. 551C E9. And then reveal all people and devices connected. Let's check this out. Oh, wow. Okay, well. So pretty much everything. And you can see that little arrow pop up showing. I think the direction that it's going to uh, attract from. God, this, this feels like so badass. Okay. The only problem is we're not finding our target necessarily. Anything on here, perhaps? Need your help. Oh, here we go. From Taki Kenmochi. Uncle, I still haven't covered my last loan yet, but I really need your help again. This is the last time I promise it's important. I might be in real trouble. Borrow from your father. I'm not your piggy bank. Please, Uncle. You know we don't talk. Then it's time to start. Implants for cheap. Looks like some type of junk mail again. So how can I use this to locate... Packy? Okay, so I... I don't know... I guess our mission was bugged, which was too bad because we were absolutely nailing it. Ooh, that was close. And uh, now that I've reloaded, I had to go back to before we triggered the mission. Uh, she is actually, uh, Taki is actually showing up now. So we have a couple of things we can try and do. I took out those other two guards and uh, we can see here she's ready to roll. And I want to try and take her out if I can. Let's uh, distract over there. And then if he goes... That other guard. Yeah, here we go. We're going to make a quick take down here. This guy might... Oh, just got him. Cars parked and waiting. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Let's check this message. Leave the area. Uh, if we go into our journal, messages, Regina. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's too bad because we totally... Oh, that was so sleuthy. I'll leave that all in and then just obviously pick up from where we are here. Um, but we've only encountered a couple of bugs and reloading is fixing them, which is nice, but it'd be obviously great if they didn't happen. We'll take these, take these, uh, Taki Ken Mochi and Kenji. Let's read this. Okay. Hey, hey, opportunity knocks, Chum. Hmm? Tony's out of biz. You hear? Got thrown off a building, some unpaid debt. Exactly. Didn't pay off his pachinko machines. Now's our chance to paint the pavement with our blood. No, no, listen, we can buy these machines at half from Bill the Clown. No way I'd enter biz with him if I were you. And I'd get smart if I were you. Plan to jack yourself off to death? Dead end living with your output? At least you won't push me off a roof. Stop, I'm not fucking around. We're taking those pachinko machines and setting them up in the block. Then we are in big, the end. There's no way this goes wrong, whatever you say. Now, are people going to be like... Hey, uh, why are you carrying that body? Oh, this guy doesn't seem to care. Please, have mercy on me. Don't try. 
And people got their own problems, so. How do I uh, get her in here? Trunk, maybe? Hey, I don't got pocket change, okay? Oh, ho! There we go. Okay. Man, this is that was so cool, except for the little glitch there, but My, ah, what a big that was fun. You me. Bit surprised you didn't put her out of her misery. Well, at least the vermin's off the street. Gig shut and closed. I also don't know if it matters whether or not we kill them or like I have no idea. I have no idea. But now we're starting to learn like what to look for on the map, how to kind of progress through different things. Uh, looks like there's something potentially that we can hack in here or that we can jack into. Is this open? Yeah, there's just so much to do. Okay, anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up here. When we return, let's just take a look at what we got going on here. Uh, pay off our debt to Victor, which we're working on. But man, earning cash is not easy at all. Uh, whenever we get, we go see Wakako and walk into that pachinko salon, I get this weird feeling. Uh, let's take a look at our map maybe to decide what we're going to try and tackle here. So jump to V with tab. Side job, biz that won't make any major headlines. Favors, straightforward tasks and chance encounters. Uh, we've got Lizzie's bar right next to it. This is the fight back in Kabuki. Undiscovered stuff. See, what I'm thinking is when we see something like this, we kind of want to go and like just do some of the stuff around it. Something kind of natural. Um, we don't know what these are exactly, but we'll just figure it out when we get there. And uh, hopefully it works out. So yeah, sorry about that. Not my fault, but there was a bit of a bug. I tried to fix it a couple ways. Reloading the mission worked. And uh, hopefully we don't encounter too many more of those going forward. See you soon. Bye for now.